Good morning and welcome back to Darwin. Beautiful sunny Darwin. Here we are in March in the middle of the monsoon season and it has been a pretty wet one. So uh, today we've got beautiful sunshine, nice blue skies and uh, we're here at Nightcliff Markets on a Sunday morning just gone. So I'm just uh, making this short video just to show you that we do get days like this uh, in the middle of the monsoon. It doesn't rain every single day, uh, all day, even though it feels like it sometimes. So we'll just uh, cross over here into the small Nycliffe shopping centre, uh, which is normally a fairly quiet place during the week, except for this little bit right in front of the post office. So we shall take a stroll through show you some of the stalls not all stalls are here um, we've probably got about 60 percent of the stalls running at the moment just due to the risk of of rain and such but there's enough here for us just about everyone who's turned up this morning are locals you can see by the Northern Territory number plates so most of these people have either brought their produce uh, or their wares in from uh, some of the outlying areas of Darwin sell their plants and fruit and such so we'll just do a bit of a lap around that's May's fruit and veg stall. It's normally quite large, that one. So it's fairly chill. There's a few more people up here around the, f uh, the f fruit juice and the um, sort of laxa stalls, the takeaway stalls. Just walked past Bruce's charcoal chicken there. Been there for quite a number of years. Some really good Chinese takeaway. Alright, so a lot of people head straight for that coffee van there on our left. Uh, really nice uh, fruit juice uh, stand here. But there's a better one just around the corner. As you can see, there's some really good murals and artwork on a lot of the buildings in this area as part of the Darwin street art it's not really a competition but um, something that happens about August September every year all right so we're just heading around the corner here uh, to one of my favorite fruit juice stalls and uh, you can get anything you want any combination you just ask for it the ladies here are fantastic uh, they will make it uh, I have two large uh, lime, ginger and honey, please. Having this morning is uh, just a nice refreshing ginger, lime, honey and ice. Uh, really refreshing on a fairly warm day. Um, it's not that hot, it's only about 32 degrees. But with the sun out, a bit of humidity there, but um, otherwise quite pleasant. So we're just going to have a walk through to the, the other end. A few protest signs here that they uh, think the development on Lee Point will destroy the habitat for some birds. There we go. It's the birds out there. Not sure how they're going, fighting against the government and the Defence Department. All right, in the, in the middle to our right, there's normally music playing, kids' playground. It's a nice uh, area to sit down, enjoy your laxa or fruit juice, and just have a chat with your friends and uh, mostly neighbours in this area. So as I say, not a whole lot of stalls this time of year, but we'll just walk around to the left this area in front of the Lucky Bat 
cafe which does a pretty good trade uh, even on the Sunday that's a fairly big area these days yeah so just a few plant stalls people bring in their their tropical uh, style plants either from their local garden or from the outlying areas so yeah it's just got a nice relaxed vibe about it and you'll find this uh, prep markets a little bit busier on the Saturday mornings probably a little bit uh, more well known so a few more people get in there but um, this is my local and we thought we would pop in given it's a nice day and yeah people with their various clothing items we don't need a lot of clothing up here with the warmer weather so different styles to what you'll find in the southern cities so yeah just up there a few massage uh, places dentist Yeah, so plenty of room to stroll around. All right, just grab a quick drink here. So this is the uh, ginger lime honey and ice drink that um, that we just got them to mix up for us. Really refreshing on a on a morning like this. We were out and about at the Hidden Valley Raceway so doing a test and tune for the local drivers with their cars so we had a look down there and we thought we would pop in here on the way home so various stalls, clothing, books um, and such yeah so indigenous lady just on the left here with some amazing artwork uh, I did ask if she thought it was okay for me to film or take a picture but she wasn't too sure so uh, we let that go it's always polite to ask so yeah just moving through the food and drink stalls now and just on the right here this is also a very good place to get your laxa um, any combination that you like or I always like the full combination of uh, chicken beef and seafood goes down really well hello we've just spotted this uh, nice Harley Davidson uh, over here uh, not sure of the model could well be a road maybe a road king or a road glide a nice looking unit so yeah we'll just squeeze through here so you've got your coffee van here on the right uh, if you need a bit of a pick-me-up uh, this is a, another Laksa stall from Kulalinga and they do uh, quite a nice Malaysian curry style Laksa a little bit different to the chilli Thai style a lot of nice Vietnamese food here uh, my favourite there is probably the pork balls um, really nice, really nice Just a promo here for the Nightcliff Sea Breeze Festival, festival which will go uh, later in the year. So it's always a, a big day out for all the locals in this area, which is along the foreshore from the jetty, uh, pretty much all the way down to the beachfront hotel these days. It's a fairly big show. Um, they do require a lot of volunteers and such, but. Um, a good day out so if you like to do a painting you can enter into the painting because the bank here on the right the Bendigo Bank 
uh, very big sponsors of the of the art competition so I just may have to uh, dig out my brushes and throw a bit of paint onto a canvas we'll see how we go with that amazing bits and pieces you'll see here at the markets some people are suffering getting a free fan lady there with a little fruit and veg all right so that is pretty much a lap through and uh, we'll head back so that's a Bendigo Bank just on the right there a beautiful sunny day so mid-March we still enjoy getting out and about all right so we've just jumped in the car so that's the markets there on the left new police station on the right so yeah really really nice all righty so that's pretty much it for today thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video bye for now